Hello and happy Real Estate Tip Tuesday, the second installment of creepy real estate tips uh, because we are close to Halloween, which is coming up this weekend. So um, I want to talk about radon and you may or may not know what radon is. Radon is all over the United States, but there are particular areas that have more radon than others. And Colorado is one of those places. So radon although it has been considered a conspiracy theory for some people. Um, so take it as you will. But the thing is, I am here to educate you on it. And then you decide whether or not it's something that you care about or want to know more information about. So radon is a tasteless, um, does not have any smell. You can't see it. It's odorless. Um, it is from uranium that has been decaying down underground. So any of that granite um, rocks that are decaying and it's creating that uranium and it is coming up through the earth. So that's why you can't smell it. You can't see it, etc. cetera. Um, now, of course, the reason why we see more of it here in Colorado is because we have more rock, we have more uranium, we have more granite, Etc. Now, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, found in bigger pockets in certain areas, your neighbor could have zero radon where your home might have more of it. And it is measured in pico curry liters. I know that's kind of a crazy way to explain it. And I can probably put a link to what that means um, because I can't explain exactly what that is. <laughs> However, all I know is that the EPA recommends that you have mitigation for radon if your levels are more than 4.0 pico curry liters. So the way that you test for it, you can actually get a test on your own and put it in your home. And there are short-term or long-term tests that, you know, go up, I think to three months, um, takes three months to test that, or you can have, um, somebody, a professional come in and bring in a machine that tests it over 48 hours. What it does, it takes an air sample every hour on the hour and over 48 hours, it gives an average of how much radon it found in any home. So that test is put at the bottom most or the lowest part of a home because the way that it works is like water. Uh, water is always going to use the path of least resistance. So it's using gravity where a vapor is going to go up. So the way that radon will come into a home is through cracks um, in the cement, like in your basement, or um, if you have a crawl space, maybe it isn't um, sealed. It's going to come up through those cracks. And if you are on, you know, a, a slab of it, that's producing a lot more radon, your home is specifically made to keep in heat, cool air, et cetera. So it could be also keeping the radon in. So we want to test for that to see how much radon is in your home at any given time. And so that 48 hour test gives a good average for that. Now, a radon mitigation um, system is fairly inexpensive. So we're not talking tens of thousands of dollars here. I've seen some systems as low as $700. I've seen some as high as $3,000. It depends on the size of the house and how that company needs to come in. So most of the time, if there is an open crawl space that has dirt, a vapor barrier is put over that dirt. So that way it collects the radon under there. A hole is drilled at the lowest point of the home. And usually where a sump pit would be, the radon um, tubing or like the PVC pipe would be there. And everything else is going to be sealed to help direct that vapor to that pipe. And then there is a fan generally outside of a home. Sometimes I've seen it inside of a home that is pulling that vapor up and outside of your home. There are very particular ways that this mitigation system should be installed. So that way the vapor is going out of the home and not back into the home. So really important that you have a good inspector and a good radon mitigation company to do that work for you. So there's a little more on radon. Um, I always recommend that my buyers have it tested during their inspection period, and then they can decide whether or not they want to have mitigation or ask the sellers maybe to do mitigation. If you need any um, resources, please let me know. I hope y'all have a great day and a great rest of your week. Bye and happy Halloween.